By now, you know what are HCF and LCM. You might be wondering what is the real significance of finding HCF and LCM of numbers. I will explain you some real time scenarios where HCF and LCM are of use. Let's say you have a window in your room of size 15 cm into 40 cm, 40 cm in width and 15 cm in length and you want to grill to your window. What is the maximum gap you can leave such that spacing between each grill bar is equal? Well, try some lengths. You can't leave space of 2 cm because you cannot divide length into equal gaps. Can we use 3 cm? Even though we can divide length in equal gaps, we can't divide width which is 40 cm equally. The way to find it is HCF. Yes, highest common factor. The highest number which can divide both height and width. Here, HCF of 15 and 40 is 5. Hence, if you want bigger gap between grill bars, you can place them in 5 cm apart. Let's take another scenario. You have 15 apples and 40 bananas with you and you want to donate those to orphans. You want to donate apples and bananas together equally among the orphans. So, how many orphans can you help? Basically, question demands finding highest factor of two numbers. Yes, HCF of 15 and 40 is the answer. That is, you can help 5 orphans. 5 is the HCF of 15 and 40. To each orphan, you can give 3 apples and 8 bananas. This way, you can distribute apples and bananas equally. Let me explain you another scenario. You go to a grocery shop to buy jam sachets and buns for a tea party which you are hosting at your home. You are going to serve your guest with pair of a bread and a jam. Let's say jams are available as a pack of 6 and buns are as a pack of 8. So, what is the least number of buns and jams you need to buy so that neither jam nor bun is surplus? Let's try one possibility. How about buying 5 packs of jams and 5 packs of bread? That means you have 30 jam sachets and 40 buns. You will be left with 10 extra buns. So, how would you find the number so that number of buns and jams are equal? Answer to this question is finding LCM. LCM of 6 and 8 is 24. You have to buy 24 buns and 24 jams. That means 4 packs of jams and 3 packs of buns.